So if you are <clears throat> sitting at a desk and your feet are down on the ground, and I also just need to check that the sound is loud enough for people because the last session I was in, no one could hear me. So I don't know, it's very weird. All right. Okay, good. Um, with the feet on the, if your feet are on the ground, make sure they're in a parallel position. You don't have your ankles crossed or, and, and make sure all your knees splayed out. So just make sure you've got your feet slightly raised on a cushion or something. And other than that, if you're in the regular cross-legged position, you can put something firm on, underneath your sits bones. And if your hips and knees are tight, you can put a couple of cushions underneath. And particularly if your hips and knees are tight, you can raise, raise your sits bones up maybe three, four inches on a zephyr or something. Right hand is nestled in the left with the thumbs touching. But if, it's, if you've learned meditation another way to, with your hands, you can just wherever your hands are comfortable is fine as well. The shoulders are aligned over the hips as much as you can. And just imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light, stretching from the base of the spine all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. And you can imagine someone is very gently lengthening your spine. So it's not, you're not kind of forcing yourself to sit up. You're just very gentle, untangling of all those tiny, tiny little muscles up and down the back. And put some air in between those vertebrae. And imagine your, the crown of your head is heading towards the ceiling. And now your head is slightly tipped forward, giving you some length in the back of the neck. And the back of the neck is constricted because the chin is up. It creates agitation in the mind. So just slightly forward, the chin is slightly down. Tip of the tongue is on the roof of the mouth. And for those yogis meditating for hours and hours on end in caves up in the mountains, this helps to prevent them from dribbling. I've never had the concentration to be able to meditate long enough that my saliva would start dribbling. I'd start dribbling. So I've not had that experience, but it's what they say. Tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth and relax the jaw. Let's bring your awareness to the crown of the head and relax the scalp and the forehead, the nose. Take your attention to the back of the eye socket and relax the eyes, the area around the mouth, the cheeks. Now take your awareness to the back of the head, the base of the skull, the occipital bone. And just try and release any tension there. And notice where else you relax the ears the jaw, the tongue, the back of the tongue. Now imagine you have a nice warm light and you're shining it into your ear, all the way down to your eardrum, your inner ear. And when you do that, you relax and watch what releases. Is it the jaw or is it the back of the tongue? Now release any tension in the back of the neck, the shoulders, shoulder blades, in between the shoulder blades. Relax your throat, your chest, your belly, limbs, hands, fingers, and feet and toes. And bring the mind to the breath. Noticing the sensation of the air as you're breathing in is slightly cooler than the air you're breathing out. And the sensations of the air, just notice where you're feeling it. If you've studied meditation in the Pali tradition, in the Theravada tradition, they might tell you to 
bring your attention to the tip of the nose or the base of the nose. But for our, our purposes tonight, just wherever you notice it flowing in and flowing out. If you have any sounds in your environment right now, someone's in your house, you hear something outside, just notice what it is that attracts your mind. As soon as you hear a sound, the mind instantly goes to it. So just be curious about that. And then allow the sounds to just fade into the background like a blur. And almost like refocus your attention back on the breath. And then notice the thoughts. They're probably churning over what you're going to do next or what you have to do tomorrow. But just allow the thoughts to arise and abide and fall and try not to engage with what's in your mind. Try not to engage with the sounds. So let's just bring to mind all the people of our life. Uh, the ones we love, our family and our dear ones, people who take care of us, who we take care of. And then there's those people in our life who we reject, who we push away, we don't like. We have prejudice and opinions. And then there's those strangers who we, you know, if we heard someone's name and we heard that that person had died, it wouldn't devastate us really. But if one of our loved ones should happen to die, it's, you know, years of grieving, it's awful, it's difficult. So why is that? Why can't we feel equal concern for all those different groups of people? It's also good to remember that in our life, the friend, the enemy, or the stranger could change places at any time. And they are all equal from the perspective of them all wanting to be happy. Wishing to be free from suffering and having this unbelievable capacity for the enlightened mind. So just think tonight we'll do this Vajrasattva practice, this Vajrasattva in the context of the four opponent powers, for the benefit of all these beings, and particularly for Mary, Auntie. And if there's anyone in your life that you would like perhaps to do this meditation with you, you can bring them by your side in your mind. And just imagine they're there with you. So the first thing to think is that there is no negativity that cannot be purified. And this purification process is basically a psychological one. So we create negativity with our mind. So we're going to counteract that by creating positive energy. So first of all, the first of the four, four opponent powers is about regret. So sincerely regret from the depths of your heart anything you have done to harm any living being on this day, this week, last week, last month, last year. And think of specific actions of both your body and your speech. And the reason we regret is based on the logic of karma. Given that everything we experience is due to our past actions, having harmed others, we will necessarily experience suffering in the future. So logically, given that we all know what suffering is about and we don't want to create any more in our life, logically, it makes sense to remove the karmic seeds before they ripen as our future suffering. So think like this. I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech having broken my vows because I do not want the future suffering. I'm sick of suffering and also regret any anger and attachment and all the rest that are the cause of why we harm others. And think I'm sick of this suffering. Who can I turn to? Where can I get help? So here we come to the power of the reliance. So we rely upon, we turn to the Buddha, the doctor, you can see him as a doctor who's dispensing medicine, who has the methods that we can use to purify. So it's not that we need the Buddha to forgive us. 
We're not asking for forgiveness here. We, we want to do the work ourselves. We purify ourselves by relying upon his methods. So just imagine what you suffer above the crown of your head. You can imagine he is your teacher, if you have a teacher, a spiritual advisor. This is the mind of that person manifesting in this form for your benefit. You can imagine he's made of radiant, blissful white light, sitting cross-legged on a white lotus and a moon cushion. And this lotus, although born out of mud, is untainted by that mud, just like your enlightened potential, born out of delusions, yet untainted by them. Vajrasattva has his very radiant, beautiful face and long eyes. They're full of love and compassion for you and all the beings in your life. He has no judgmental thoughts towards you. Anything you're showing up with tonight is perfect. He accepts you exactly as you are and meets you where you're at. He has a sweet red mouth. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. He's wearing the five-pointed crown on his head and it's embedded with jewels. He's wearing a necklace of jewellery, a belt of jewellery. He's wearing armlets, bracelets and anklets. He's wearing the silken celestial robes in the royal Indian style. So what I mean by this is silken scarves around his neck and his body and he's wearing harem pants. He has a beautiful aura around his head and an aura of light around his body. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom. The right is holding a vajra, which represents the indestructibility of compassion. And there being crossed represents the union of these two, which symbolizes enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened by this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva. May I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So this is a little section here on developing compassion. So we need to rely upon other beings, the beings we have harmed, and those who have harmed us, in order to develop compassion. So we, we need something as a focus. So think particularly of people that you've harmed recently just generate in your heart a wish for them to not suffer, a compassionate heart towards them, a kind heart. And the same for the people who harmed you, although a little bit more difficult. We do this simply because the harm they've caused you, the suffering they've caused you, is going to manifest for them as suffering in the future. So we have compassion towards them because of that future suffering. So I think I must purify for all of their sakes. So next we come to the power of the remedy, and this is the medicine, doing the visualization and recitation of the mantra. So first we purify the body. And imagine that Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful white nectar, almost like coming out of a hose forcefully from his heart. And it arcs around and enters into your crown and pours into your entire body filling you completely and it keeps pouring into you until eventually it pushes out of the lower orifices all the harm you've ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid and this pours out of you and disappears into space not one atom left as we recite the mantra om vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita dida mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa Anarakta mebowa sawa sidi mimpi yata sawa kama sutta me sidam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe hum vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dira mebowa sutta kaya mebowa supo kaya mebowa Anarakta mebowa sawa sidi mimpi yata sawa kama sutta me sidam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe hum vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dira mebowa sutokaya mebowa supokaya mebowa 
and our rector may be well, so a city may be yet a sour come as it may. See Jim Shriam Guru, whom ha 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 Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Hum vajra sapa samaya manu palaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dida me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa. Anarakta me bawa sawa siddhi me pe yata sawa kama sitta me. Siddham shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Hum vajra sapa samaya manu palaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dida me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa. Anarakta me bawa sawa siddhi me pe yata sawa kama sitta me. Siddham shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Hum vajra sapa samaya manu palaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dida me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa. Anarakta me bawa sawa siddhi me pe yata sawa kama sitta me. Siddham shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. So be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any sentient being with your body is now completely purified and think there is no way you could do anything but benefit others now with your body. So how amazing every time anyone sees you, it benefits their mind. That would be incredible. So next is a purification of the speech. And so again, Guru Vajrasattva very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra and this arcs around and forcefully enters your crown, filling your entire body except this time forcing up to the top of the body all the negativity of your speech. And this overflows and disappears into space, not one atom left. So just imagine that all the gossip and the harsh speech and the useless speech and lying and talking badly about others behind their back and getting other people to agree with you, being divisive in other words. All of this is purified by the powerful nectar filling you as you recite the mantra. Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Me Bawa Sutta Kaya Me Bawa Sipa Kaya Me Bawa Anarakta Me Bawa Sawa Siddhi Me Pi Yata Sawa Kama Sitta Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Matsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Me Bawa Sutta Kaya Me Bawa Sipa Kaya Me Bawa Anarakta me bawa sawa siddhi me pe yata sawa kama sitta me. Sudram shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Om vajra zafa samaya manu palaya vajra zafa dina patita. Dida me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa. Anarakta me bawa sawa siddhi me pe yata sawa kama sitta me. Siddham shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Om vajra sapa samaya manu palaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dida me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa. Anarakta me bawa sawa siddhi me pe yata sawa kama sitta me. Siddham Shriyam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutza Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Me Bawa Sutokaya Me Bawa Supokaya Me Bawa Anarakta Me Bawa Sawa Siddhi Me Pe Yata Sawa Kama Sitta Me Siddham Shriyam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutza Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Me Bawa Sutokaya Me Bawa Supokaya Me Bawa Anarakta Me Bawa Sawa Siddhi Me Pe Yata Sawa Kama Sitta Me Siddham Shriyam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutza Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Me Bawa Sutokaya Me Bawa Supokaya Me Bawa Anarakta me bawa sawa siddhi me pe yata sawa kama sitta me. Siddham shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. So again, 
feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified and imagine that it's not possible to do anything other than benefit others now with your speech. So the next is a purification of the mind and Guru Vajrasattva now very compassionately sends powerful beams of laser light from his heart chakra. It's light this time. And it arcs around and enters your crown and fills your entire being. <clears throat> so, excuse me, it's just the same as when you walk into a room, a dark room, and you switch on the light. That light instantly dispels the darkness. And it's the same here. The, the moment the light from Vajrasattva's heart touches your heart, all the darkness of the negativity of your mind, all the attachment and neediness, depression, anger, resentment, jealousy, bitterness, grudges, all of this is instantly dispelled with this light and the mantra, not one atom left. Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anaraka Mebawa Sawasidi Mepiyata Sawakama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawatata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hom Pe Umbhadra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anaracta mebawa sawa siddhi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe ambhadra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dhida mebawa sutokaya mebawa supakaya mebawa anaracta mebawa sawa siddhi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. Ambhadra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dida me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa. Anarakta me bawa sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sidam shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. Ambhadra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dida me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa anarakta me bawa sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me sudam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra me mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe hum vajra zapa samaya manupalaya vajra zapa dina patita dida me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa Anarakta me bawa sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me sudam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. So again, be the light of that all your delusions, all of our own delusions, which are the source of all of our own suffering and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech are totally purified, gone. And think now, there is no space in your heart for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. So the next is the purification of the imprints of negativity of the body, speech and mind. So this time you can imagine we can recite a couple of mantras for each of the visualizations of the body and of the speech and of the mind. And if that's too complicated or messy for your mind, you can just imagine light and nectar pouring in, filling you completely and eradicating even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from your mind. It's just kind of like an extra wash as you recite the mantra. Ambhadrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita dhira mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa Anarakta me bawa sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe ambhadra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dhira me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa Anarakta me bawa sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me Sitam Shriyam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Um Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Me Bawa Sutokaya Me Bawa Supokaya Me Bawa 
and our actor Mabo was Sava Sidi, maybe yet a Sava Kamas, it's a May, Sidam Shriam Guru Hum, ha 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 ho, Bago and Sava Tata Gata Vajama, Mutsa Vajabawa, Mahasamaya Sapa Ah, Hum Pei, Hum Vajusapa Samaya, Manupalaya, Vajusapa Dina Patita, Dida Mabo was Sutokaya, Mabo was Supokaya, Mabo. Anarakta mebo wa sawa sidi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago wan sawa tata gata vajama me mutza vajabawa maho samaya sattva a hum pe hum vajra sapa samaya manu palaya vajra sapa dina patita dhida mebo wa sutokaya mebo wa supokaya mebo wa anarakta mebo wa sawa sidi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, ha 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 ho, Bago and Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maho Samaya Saka Ah Hum Pe, Hum Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Duda Meboa, Sutokaya Meboa, Supokaya Meboa, Anarakta Meboa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, ha 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 ho, Bago and Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maho Samaya Saka Ah Hum Pe. Now feel completely purified. Not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to omniscience have been removed. So the final step here is the power of resolve, where we just make a decision to start refraining from things that are harmful to ourselves and others. And because we're human, we make mistakes. We're going to constantly keep falling back into the same old patterns again and again and again, whether it's biting our nails or talking about people. So first of all, for people who've been doing this for a while now, just rejoice in your efforts and rejoice in your progress. And see where the changes have been, how you notice where you stop yourself before it all falls out the mouth. Or you stop yourself before you swat that fly, tread on the ant. So just think, I'll, I'm going to think of something tonight that I will ref refrain from. So if I'm always talking about my next door neighbor behind their back, then I won't talk about them between the time I go to bed tonight and the time I wake up tomorrow. And then I've kept that promise to myself. So don't give yourself something that's not doable, like a New Year's resolution. It can be five seconds or 10 minutes, just as long as you, you keep that vow to yourself, I will not do this for this amount of time. And it gives us courage and encouragement. So this determination to not do something again is what gives us the strength to change. So Guru Vajrasapha is delighted with us and wanting to merge with your mind, he melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown and think my Guru's body, speech and mind, Vajrasapha's body, speech and mind, and my own body, speech and mind are the same thing. Mama Yeshi used to call this union, oneness. So next Rinpoche recommends to meditate on the emptiness of the three circles. In emptiness, there is no I, the creator of negative action. There is no creating of negative, of, of karma. There's no action of creating negative karma. And there is no negative karma created. So whatever level you understand emptiness, or this nature of reality, just place your mind there for a moment. It doesn't matter how small the idea is that you have in your mind. So you can just imagine the all phenomena as being empty and not existing from their own side. Or you can just think simply the way things appear to me may not actually be the way they in fact exist. So let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy we have created during this purification to all living beings, to Mary's auntie, to all the people of our life, and think may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. And so here we have a long life prayer for His Holiness the Dalai Lama, the wish granting, wish fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind tens of yatso I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled, 
Kalamasa Parimshay. Shall we chant? Yeah. Kod sho chan shin jam gon gyawe ten zing kyong pelwe kun za dog poor ze chog sum kur away leg mon to drug pa dog so drug ye gon do shad ten sho. And the Lama Ursul then will one to you as kindness exceeds that of all the conquerors, for those wanderers in far off places, especially the West, mindfully of your loving concern for us and intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land. We make this request, O Lama, please, please live long. And Vageshi Shara, beloved teacher, leading your students toward wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path, you are the unequal guide. Please live a long and stable life. There we go. Gone like a dream again. See you guys tomorrow and tomorrow morning. <laughs>